Hi guys, we um, we were able to pass out some money to some Cleveland guys that were um, we had some fast guys running. We had a fastest car this weekend of 886 in the quarter mile at about 150 miles an hour, I think. Um, so there's lots of Cleveland guys out there. The Cleveland is still alive. It's still well. It's it's ready and. Um, we hope to be able to put some uh, Titus engines in those cars in the future, make them even faster. But this is uh, some of the things that we had on display this weekend. This is one of our Titus blocks. This one is a 9.5 deck version. It's 462 inches. Um, some of the features that we've explained to folks on the uh, Titus block this, uh, this weekend is we have the thickest main webs in the got some cars still going down the track. <laughs> We have, the, we have the thickest main webs in the industry. These main webs we leave as wide as we can to allow a crankshaft to still go into the block. Um, we use a four bolt main cap that's splayed in the center three. The rear main cap still uses a standard Cleveland pan. Um, the other thing that we have on this block that's pretty unique is uh, we can go to a 4200 bore even in an aluminum block. Now we use a sleeve. Uh, that will allow us to do that and still have plenty of material within the iron part of the sleeve. But you can still see even around the iron part of the sleeve, this part of the sleeve is four and a half inches OD. You can still see there's plenty of aluminum behind even this four and a half inch OD. The OD of the barrel, the aluminum barrel that we have is almost 4.9 inches, which means we still have about three eighths of an inch outside of the aluminum. So. One thing you won't hear us say about our blocks is that we have a lot of core shift problems or anything like that where we see holes behind the sleeves before you press the sleeves in. There's plenty of aluminum, plenty of mass in this block. Another thing that we have a feature of is 18 head bolt availability. For those guys that run some serious power to take advantage of all this bore, all this cylinder strength, and all of this main web strength, now we have the ability to seal the block using six head bolts per cylinder. This is a unique feature to uh, our aluminum block that is the only one in the industry that has this particular feature. Um, another I, uh, thing that we do have is we offer, uh, for instance, this block uses a standard 351 Cleveland lifter bank angle, but we have multi lifter bank angles that we can use. We can use Custom, we can use Windsor, we can use Cleveland. Um, and if guys want to build their own lifter bank angles and tell us what it is they want, we can machine the blocks in that particular sizes. Um, one of the things that we have done in this particular casting is, and by the way, this is Colby. Colby's <laughs> taking care of our block for us and making sure it doesn't go anywhere. Um, we have the ability to put an extremely large cam journal inside of this block. We can go all the way up to 70 millimeter and bigger. If you guys think that there's a need to do that, that's fine. We have the ability to do it. So um, standard Cleveland is when you order a block from us, standard Cleveland is what you'll get unless you tell us you want something else. Um, another item that we do have is in our aluminum blocks, we use a threaded freeze plug with an O-ring seal. We don't use a plug that wedges into the cylinder with a taper seal as a pipe plug. Um, there's no need to put additional stress in the side of the block. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do with a block as far as strength is, is put, not put stress into the block. So you don't want to artificially put stress into the block by wedging tapered style plugs into it. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that we've all complained about as Cleveland guys over the years is the oiling system of Cleveland. Uh, even though we still machine and, and produce standard Cleveland engines and we fix the oil uh, system as best we can, we, it's still not as good as what it could be. So what we've done is we've made this block a true priority main oiling system. Um, you can totally separate the lifter system from the, uh, the main galley system and that's done by uh, a crossover passage in the back of the block which we can't quite see on the back of this one. Um, but you can do whatever you want as far as restriction or anything like that. Um, a unique feature that we had um, is uh, a starter location that if you want to put a starter on the uh, driver side of the block, you can. You can actually, we've left a pad here in order to do that. One of the reasons, I'm a stick car guy, so one of the reasons that we do that is there's an oil pan here which if you guys are familiar with your oil pans that have a kick out on the, on the passenger side, where your starter would normally go, there's a big pocket. 
Well, that means you only get the benefit of your, of your kick out from here forward. So what we've been able to do is put the starter over here on the driver's side of the engine and have a full kick out over here to you can get the best use of all your uh, windage and, and um, uh, power saving capabilities that you have with a dry sump. Um, deck heights. We do this block in a standard 9.2. Uh, for us standard Cleveland guys, we also do it in a 9.5 inch uh, deck height, which is standard, it's the same price. Uh, and we also do custom ones. We can do this block anywhere from 9.1 uh, to 9.7. 9.7 gives us the capability to do what we've done, which is over there in our purple car. Uh, you can see that one way over there. That one is, uh, houses our 500 inch cubic, uh, cubic inch Cleveland, which is the biggest small block cast uh, production block in the world. Um, even though we've done all this stuff to a Cleveland block and we've added all these features for strength, durability, um, we still give you the ability to use this as a standard Cleveland block. A, a Cleveland timing set fits it, a Cleveland timing cover fits it, Cleveland heads will fit it, Cleveland manifold fits it, Cleveland oil pan fits it, standard motor mounts, standard bell housing. This will fit in your standard car, such as my 71 Mach 1. Um, we also offer parts and pieces to build, complete your Cleveland build. We Not only do we have the block, but we have we have rods and pistons. We have for the real serious guys, we have um, aluminum rods, we have pistons for the blower guys. Um, we carry dampers, um, we carry them with and without crank trigger. Um, we have timing sets, we have the adjustable Cleveland sets. We also have these with uh, the, the uh, spacer built in for the guys that want to run the aftermarket crankshafts. We have key wave style lifter bushings. We can do our blocks with lifter bushings. You can. We really don't find any advantage in our block of running a lifter bore bushing, but some people prefer to lift, run a lifter bore bushing in it, so that's fine. Uh, we carry lifters, we do custom cams, we've been doing custom cams for years. Uh, we've got custom cams running all over the world um, that help power and make good power with our Clevelands. Uh, we produce our own main caps in-house. We also do a four bolt cap um, for a standard OEM replacement Cleveland. We have springs, retainers. We also do one of the things that we have totally re-engineered is our belt drive. Our belt drive is for the Cleveland. Um, we have done this to where it's an adjustable system. It comes apart very easy. We use a double roller thrust for the cam. Um, we've actually done this to where it's a, it, it has an adjustable idler. It's very easy to work on, very easy to install. And um, it uh, is, like I say, it's very easy, very easy to install. Um, gives you all the adjustability and with the system that we have you can actually pull the cam out of the engine with the hub with the thrust And you don't have to worry about all your thrust washers falling behind the cover which actually kind of defeats the purpose of being able to pull a cam up. Um, We have custom oil pans. We do custom valve covers Pretty much we are the one-stop shop for your Cleveland needs and we have everything to build a total complete aftermarket Cleveland Anything that you need Cleveland we have it Anyhow, it's nice talking to you guys. We'll see you guys at the next event. Take care.